Hello YouTube, this is a comprehensive review of the new Sony XBA headphones. They're uh, balanced armature drivers for the quad drivers. Um, I'm just going to be talking about the sound quality, the build quality, and just overall my general opinion. And yes, this video is my opinion, so you can agree with me or disagree with me however you like. This is just my opinion, guys, alright? So, um, obviously this is not a... Uh, um, an unpackaging bot or uh, video. This is just a review of it, of what I think. Um, they they come with uh, this hard case, the black hard case. It's um, it's got magnet right there, as you can kind of see. Um, it it kind of awkwardly fits in there, but if you roll it up right, um, it'll fit fine. Um, and these actually have saved my headphones from getting damaged a couple times. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a little indent right there that came from me putting it in my backpack and my backpack hitting something. So that would have been bad if it hit those, but that's besides the point. Um, these also come with a whole bunch of different kinds of um, ear inserts. They got um, uh, your regular, um, I don't know what you call it, non-foam inserts. And then they also come with foam inserts, which really is, um, just kind of depends on what feels better to you, which one you want to use. And they also, it also comes with all different sizes. This one right here, um, is a stock one that they place on it at the factory. Just, I tried the other, um, sizes and this one just felt the best for me. Um, so this cable here, it's semi flat. It's kind of rounded. Um, if you, if you are familiar with Sony's um, XB line, their over-ear headphones, the ones that they, they discontinued, um, they are completely flat. But these ones, they're sort of flat. They're kind of rounded on the edges, and I don't know why they did that. I wish they would have made the cables completely flat because that makes it pretty much impossible to tangle. But these ones are a little bit easier to tangle. I don't think this semi-flat thing has done much for it because... It's still pretty easy for this to tangle, but not as easy other things, I should say. So, um, I think this uh, Terminator plug is very nice. It's got a chrome um, back to it, and it's got gold-plated um, 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, nothing really special to talk about right there, but I just think it's very nice. Um, it's got an L shape, which I think is good, because once you, when you plug it into your... Um, mp3 player or something it's nice because um it doesn't put any strain on this thing because if it's like pointing straight up um if you have it in your pocket or something that might put a lot more strain on the cable itself so i'm glad that they did it that way um so let me talk about the build quality of the actual earpieces um it's completely plastic okay um they've got a chrome finish on it and you can see that these uh, the little golden spots those are where the drivers would be placed. Um, it's. I wish they would have used metal. Um, I think I understand why they use plastic is just to cut down on the weight of it. So that's understandable. Um, it's okay. And as you can see, these things are pretty ginormous. I mean, these things are massive for in-ear headphones. Um, but however, when you put it in your ear, it's actually quite unnoticeable once you put it in your ear um it, they're pretty light um they're like i said they're not very noticeable and um very comfortable to wear uh, also depending on which kind of insert you put in it because um depending on how your ear is shaped um so i guess i'm going to talk about the sound of them now i've read a lot of reviews online um a lot of people saying that they don't really like the sound um, I've also seen a lot of people that say they really do like the sound. I guess it just comes down to personal opinion. And this is my personal opinion. I think they are excellent. Um, the quad drivers, it has four drivers. It has a tweeter, a full range, a subwoofer, and a super subwoofer. Um, I think every range is represented very equally. Um, I would say that the highs are not there. It's got a sparkle to it, but it's not overpowering. It's not uncomfortable to listen to. They're very smooth. The mids are okay. Um, I don't really have much of an opinion on the mids. They're not great. They're not bad. Um, 
for the base, because it has two bases, I think the base is very, very good. Okay. Um, it's, it's very tight. It's very controlled. Um, the base does not, it's, it's very present, very present, but it does not overpower any of the other frequencies, which is good. So you can listen to, I don't know, dubstep. And I actually did, um, um, a, uh, bass test on YouTube. I put, I plugged these into my, uh, Fio EO 9K desktop amplifier. Oh my gosh. It is ridiculous. Once you plug these in, I mean, I didn't even have to use my amplifier to hear it. Um, the bass almost literally shakes your head because you can, when you do those, that bass test on YouTube, oh my gosh, I could, it was so intense. I could almost, um, feel my eardrums shaking. It was pretty crazy, but that's besides the point. Um, I'd say all the frequency ranges are represented very equally. I think it's very smooth and guys, please, please keep in mind that when you buy these, um, a normal default equalizer preset will not do this thing justice. Okay. Um, I would recommend if you don't know how to work an equalizer very well and how to set it, I would recommend trying to learn how to do that because, um, the de just the default settings don't work very well. It, it makes it sound like, for instance, if you use a rock um, preset, it sounds really, really bright. The bass is not very present. So I had to, on my phone, um, I had to pre or I had to set, manually set the equalizer so that it sounded good to my ears. And I think I did a pretty good job. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about is the uh, why this little split here. Um, see if I can show you this, as you can see, ignore all the clutter. This is, this, the left ear is a lot shorter than the right ear. The reason because is you put this one, the right, um, ear bud behind your head. And I think the reason why they did that is because so that when you put it behind your head, this split is not hanging around your neck. So you have less of a chance of you, um, hitting uh, this little uh, split with your hand or something so that the, the earbuds don't fall out of your ear as easily. Um, some people don't like that. I personally like it. Um, so anyway, that is the review. I hope I've um, answered any of your questions. So bottom line, these are great headphones. Um, I would say there probably are better headphones, but um, these... Definitely, I think Sony's done a very good job with these. See you later, guys.